Hey guys, this is PK for AtomicZebra.com and today we're going to add a little bit more onto routining. So this would be chapter 4 on routining. Okay, so uh, look at this. I brought out my cups and balls. <laughs> yeah, This is my final load. Uh, it's a stress ball and I say that the thing can go in because of stress and what do you need when you have stress? You need a stress ball. So the reason why I pulled this out is because I want to talk about uh, planning your finale in your routines. So about that, let's think. Uh, how do you finish strong? Of course you're going to finish strong. You have to, right? If, if it's going to be memorable. But what's a good way to make it strong? Now, if you think about, <clears throat> let's say, movies. For example, like Gone Girl. Just popped up in my head. Uh, the reason why I mentioned Gone Girl is because the first scene of Gone Girl and the last scene of Gone Girl are pretty similar. Now, I'm not talking about the movie itself, the story itself, but what I'm talking about is taking things full circle and bringing it back. So, let's come up with two examples. These are two examples that I use. Uh, one, uh, when I do children's show, uh, sometimes it helps to... I don't know, do some simple stuff. Like some magicians don't like it. Uh, there are different ways of doing it. And my way of doing the bandana, the yellow bandana trick, is I use Siri. And the thing is with Siri, um, there is a magician who is selling it. I'll, I'll add the name here. I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look him up. But I, uh, I think there is someone who sells a Siri trick. Now, as when, when I first bought the vanishing bandana, uh, I was I liked it, but it didn't say things the way I wanted it to say because I thought we could have more uh, interaction with the recording. So I had my wife record things because she has a really good uh, TV voice. She used to be a reporter on TV, so I had her record things for me because I can't use my voice. That would be weird. Like I'm talking to myself. I could do that. That sounds good. Hmm. Think of a trick, PK. You know, like I could do that. That. I might do that. But anyways, so I had her do that. Uh, I had her uh, read the script and I would edit it and I would make it so that I would have, I would be talking sort of like acting with the voice. But then as soon as um, uh, Apple came out with Siri, I was like, oh, I want my phone to do that. And then I had, um, I downloaded Samantha, Samantha is a serious voice uh, on the Mac. Downloaded Samantha and I put put it through a lot of scripts that I made and I edited it all together. So I usually come up with my own custom Siri banter that I use when I do the Vanishing Bandana. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because the Vanishing Bandana uses a banana. A banana. And you finish with the banana, right? You will. You finish with the banana disappearing. Yeah. I have that. Hey, look at that. Vanishing bandana. So, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty corny trick, but it's easy to do, and it is entertaining if the script is well made. So, um, I think it's good, yeah. Um, although, I'm adding freebies to my videos now. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I'm nice. Uh, so, I'll add a Siri recording. Uh, Slightly generic in terms of not using any special names because whenever I do a custom-made Siri voice I actually use the name of the person for example if it's a birthday party I use the name of that person in the script so Siri will say that name actually but um, I'll, 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 I'll give you a free download of Siri's voice made into uh, uh, vanishing bandana trick. If you do the vanishing bandana, then do it. Or if you buy the vanishing bandana, then you can use my Siri voice and connect it to your, uh, put it on your phone and then play it. So anyways, I'm offering a lot of stuff for free. That's great. Ah, oh, benevolent. Oh. Anyways, so the reason why I'm talking about this is because uh, after, the, after the banana vanishes, I use a banana as my final load. <laughs> yeah, uh, and bananas don't fit in um, these cups. So what we have to do is take the pulp out, like half the pulp out, 
and then just scrunch it in and then you do a cup switch you need to switch the cups to do that so anyway and, and, I, and I do that because I use only one cup when I do my cups and balls so it's basically just yeah I use one cup this is how I start my cups and balls I say um, there are uh, three cups and three balls but I already have and then I put them away so I will then I put them away and I just use one. Uh, so yeah, I, that's how I get into cups and balls. But yeah, so the banana, as a final load, will bring things together because the banana vanished and now the banana has come full, cir full circle. So that's a great way to finish. Although, my close-up mat now has banana smear on it. So I decided not to do that. Uh, well, not on this mat straight onto this so I can wash it easily. Yeah, that's how I do it now. Not on the close-up mat. I, yeah, I learned things the hard way. All right, so you can do that. And another thing, another idea. Where'd my sponge balls go? Why do I have only three? I should have four. Why am I missing a sponge ball? I just had four here. Anyways, so. Let's try that with cards then. Now, all my routines, whenever I put three to five tricks together, what I do is I always uh, make sure that it comes full circle so I will finish strong and the whole thing feels like one big lump of magic. So that's what I'm aiming for. So that's how, I'm, how I routine my tricks. And here's one way of doing it. For example, they pick a card, okay? and you, you reveal it, you lose it in the deck, and you reveal it, you know, basic stuff. Uh, then I go through other tricks. Now, there are a lot of tricks where you don't need to pick a card every time. So, uh, I do a lot of other tricks that do not require picking a card. And then, the last trick finishes with that card. There are ways to do that. For example, let's uh, here's a here's an example like an ambitious card. You start with an ambitious, and then you go into ambitious classic. So ambitious classic, uh, you use other cards a lot, and then the final kicker is a random card. Uh, it could be a random card, but why why use a random card? Use that same card, right? Things like that. So the way that you start, and then you sort of misdirect them away from that first beginning for the whole trick for the whole routine, and then you end with that being tied together and it makes the whole thing tied in full circle and it makes for a great routine. I think it's a great way of making your routines stronger than just, you know, just putting tricks together. So think about that. Try to come up with some ways where you can use a recurrent gag or tying things together at the end so you can finish strong while keeping the whole routine uh, sort of themed-ish, but not properly themed, but at least strung together better. Okay, so let's give that a try and see see how it goes. If you got any questions, if you got any comments, if you have any things you want to add, anything, let me know in the comments. Subscribe, and maybe I'll see you in another video. All right, take care, guys.